forward rock right turn is one of the ten basic elements of the salsa challenge method of teaching salsa dancing. We're going to teach you that turn in this video. Uh, we'll begin with a little demo of this turn. Uh, it's the same turn for both leads and follows, so Jenny will uh, be turning as she rocks forward and I will as I rock forward. <coughs> Okay, now we'll show you the footwork, give you a few tips on technique, uh, and then we'll demo it again. So it's a forward rock right turn, so it doesn't matter whether you're lead or follow. If you're lead, it will be on the one count as you step forward. If you're a follow, it will be on the five count if you're dancing on one. So we step forward, one, wait fully over that, hands in a nice position, turn, stop, and back rock. So the turn is on a rock, so we step forward, rock back and turn, then back rock. Now some important tips. You want to step forward, you want the foot out, turned out, so that you'll be in full connection with your partner. You don't want to anticipate by turning or turning your whole body. So you want to step straight forward on that forward step, be fully connected with your partner, then turn as you rock step, stop and then back rock. Another important thing is uh, spotting. So when you step forward, you will look at your partner or at some place across the room. You'll turn your body as far as possible and whip around and look at that same spot with your head. So your head follows your body around. And then you back rock. Now we're gonna show you a, a brief little exercise you can do to increase your ability to do spotting. Often this is demonstrated in class by an instructor, but then students never really learn how to do it. So we'll help you build up to that. We'll do it a quarter turn at a time. So we're going to step forward, turn our body to the right, then the head. Step forward, our body to the right, then the head. Forward, body right, and head. Forward, body right, and head. Once you feel comfortable with that, then try a half turn. So we're going to step forward, our body goes halfway around as far as possible, then the head looks to the back. We'll do that again, forward, all the way around, then look. Practice that a few times so you feel really comfortable, get it up to some speed, uh, and then try three quarters. So that it looks like this, we step forward, the body goes around, round, 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 and then we look in that direction. We'll do that one more time, step forward, all the way around and then look. You'll notice once you get to three quarters that actually the movement of your head will help your body finish the turn. Also you can use your hands in turning. So as you turn, when you step forward, your right hand can lead, the left hand can follow, and that will help bring your body around. So if you use your hands, then whip the head, you will be surprised at how easy it is to spot doing a full turn. So let's step forward, use the hands, turn the head, and you're all the way around. Let's try that one more time. Forward, use your hands, snap your head, and you've got a great full turn. I would suggest when you're learning these turns that you do this exercise uh, for just three or four or five minutes every day for a while until you get really comfortable doing that, and then you'll be a really great turner. Uh, so we'll demonstrate this turn for you one more time. And, uh, and then we'll be teaching you how to lead and follow that turn. We're now going to show you how to lead and follow the forward rock right turn. The first I want to talk a little bit about different techniques. There are a lot of different techniques of teaching uh, salsa, and you will find these in different classes and different places where you go. We're going to show you one that's really common and then talk a little bit about why we uh, are, have developed a different one. So you'll, you'll find that a lot of people start with, uh, with this hand up. They'll rock it down and up in preparation, and then turn the follow. Okay. 
That's a very effective technique, I think, for multiple turns. But for a single turn, I think it has some, um, some negative elements to it. One is that we're one, two, three, we're already here by three, and the follow isn't really turning until six, so we've got four, five, six before the follow turns. The other thing that happens with this is, since you're here, it will often get the follow to step out of frame. So she will step outside of the frame, rather than to stay in this nice, salsa connected frame with one another. So we've developed a technique that assures that the follow will step forward on five and that's simply done by leading that step forward. So when we have, this is the basic two-hand version of this turn, we'll teach many others uh, shortly, but we're, we're rocking one, two, three, then to lead the follow forward on five, we're simply with our right hand going to pull forward. Now that, the one we begin to tense our arm and pull forward. Leads are going to recognize that as a lead prep. Then we'll negotiate a connection with that and we'll allow her left foot to be brought straight forward into frame. Then as we bring that forward, we're going to bring the left hand up. This also tells the follow, okay, something unusual is going to happen here. So this is a lead prep. And as we shift then the focus from the right hand to the left hand, then follows will negotiate this connection and then it can be executed with a turn around. A nice firm stop here and then step forward on the basic. So let's show it from the other direction and while we do that, let's have Jenny talk a little bit about this from the perspective of the follow. Okay, so we're going to step back as usual. One, two, three is the same. Now I can feel that his hands are starting to tense, so I'm picking up the prep. He's going to pull forward, which is the negotiation here, is that I tense up my arm and give him something to pull me forward with. Then this hand is rising up. It's completely relaxed at the moment. We begin to negotiate the connection when he pushes on me and I begin to push back the same like heaviness or tightness, whatever you want to call it. And then that spring off of that connection is going to bring me right around. I've got a nice stop so I don't keep spinning off. And then we go back to our basic steps. Now there's a couple things follows that you want to keep in consideration related to our technique that we just went over in the right turn. So on one, two, three, we're doing the same. One, two, three. On five, we step forward as usual. We can begin to spot our follow here by looking at them. You can look at their face, their shirt, their hair, whatever makes, is comfortable for you. Then as we tense up our hand here, we want to keep our arm in our line of vision. We don't want to let our arm open up too far because it will affect our ability to do our turn. So keep your arm in alignment with your torso as you turn. Now spot your partner, whip your head around. We've got a nice stable stopper here so we don't keep going and then we just go back to our basics. So the test of a good uh, forward rock right turn for the follow is that she's going to step forward on five and complete the turn by seven Pause on eight, ready to back rock on one. First, I want to talk a little bit about style. In the salsa challenge approach to teaching salsa dancing, we consider style important from the very, very first. Also, style is often functional, uh, and it, it does a great deal to make the dance more fun from the very beginning. We're teaching forward rock right turns right now. So what I'd like to do is to demonstrate for you all the space that one has uh, in an eight count to do style. So when we do a basic forward rock right turn for the follow, one, two, three, four, five, now six, seven, eight, one. So that means the turn takes only two of eight counts. That leaves six counts, most of them on the back rock, to, for the follow or the lead as far as that goes to do style. So what we'd like to do is to show you some possibilities of what you can do, particularly on the back rock, to add some style to your dancing. Another little thing that uh, this is really useful for, and uh, ladies, you all experience this fairly often, is if you've danced quite a bit and you're dancing with, uh, with a lead who has very little experience, and he does a lot, a lot of basics and a lot of simple right turns, then you may feel like you might get just a little bit bored. So, 
So you can do these extra steps, style steps on your back rocks, especially if you're anywhere within the eight count that you're not doing something the lead is suggesting that you do. So um, it really helps add flavor. It adds happiness. You can smile at your partner that way. It adds a better connection with your partner and you have a really, a, a really fun dance. Okay, so we're gonna simply show you several possibilities. There are an infinite number. We're just gonna give you some ideas uh, and uh, then you can develop your own or you can use these. Jenny, you wanna start? Yes. So we are gonna do back rock stuff mostly. So we're gonna start out on the forward step as usual. So we go one, two, Three, now we're going to cross with our right foot, cross and back and forward, and cross and back. Now we can add a follows kick and back. Now this time we can add a, a slide, slide, back, forward, slide, back, forward, okay? Okay, now I'll show one. We're going to do forward rock again. One, two, three. For weight firmly on the left foot. Bring the right foot around, keeping nice uh, balance with your left foot. And step, and then ready to forward rock again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. This is good for both leads and follows. Okay, so here's the third one. We're going to do our first three steps the same, stepping forward. One, two, three. With our right foot, we're going to go out. And then we're going to jump to the other foot with an out. And then we're going to step forward again. And back. Let's do it one more time. Step forward and out, out, forward. And out, out, forward. One more time. Out, out, forward. Okay. Okay, one last one. That is, we're going to forward rock. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Forward rock. Step touch, step together. One, two, three, step tap, step together. Okay, you can use any of those. Uh, and what we'll do now is demonstrate some of these. So I'll do some right turns with Jenny. And uh, she can do the styling on the back rock. And when we're doing simple, straight, uh, basic, then I'll add in some of that style together. Uh, let's do this with a little bit of music. Okay, that gives you a little bit of an idea of style. The important thing is, feel this movement in your own body. Put it to use. It'll add a lot to your dancing, and you'll love it. Also, accentuate your movements with your body, shoulder shimmies, your hips, and it'll be fabulous. We have taught follows doing forward rock right turns. Now we're going to teach lead forward rock right turns. Leads, in a way, this is a much easier uh, process because you just have to do a nice turn yourself without necessarily leading the follow. But what you do need to know is what to do with your hands. So we're going to do the turn as we forward rock. And there, I'll show two ways of dealing with your hands. The first is I'm simply going to turn my hand over as I step forward, put it down as far as possible, look at my follow, turn, then spot around, moving the hand behind my back. And that is the forward rock, right turn, and then back rock. So it looks like this, one, two, three, and back rock, six, seven, again, one, two, three, 
and back rock six seven. Now there's another style that I like uh, fairly well, and that is it's a kind of a, a head loop, a hair comb, a larde style. And what we're going to do is simply your hands are here to lift your left hand up till you can see the follow through. Let's just rotate a little bit, okay? So you can see the follow through. Then when you step forward, you're actually going to bring the hand up as you step forward, one, and simply put it right on top of your head. Then turn two, three, and back rock six, seven. So it goes one, two, three, and back six, seven. Jenny, do you want to talk a little bit about the connection here for follows when I the lead do. does that? There are two elements of connection. One of them, let's start with the first style of turn that we taught, um, which is the hand position that Sam was showing you. If you move this hand and have a really solid hand connection with your partner, it makes for a great connection through the turn. Now, a lot of people have sort of butter fingers and are sort of stumbling around. Well, this, if you know exactly what to do with your hands, it helps you execute the turn really well, and your follow has absolutely no doubt what's going on with the turn. Follows, if you feel this, just provide a nice, solid arm. Give the lead a little stability as he travels around through the turn. Okay? The second thing is through this Alarde turn, this is not to be mistaken as a lead to turn the follow. A, follows, we're going to be back stepping at this point. We never turn to the right on a back step. So you just let your hand be lifted up. You want to keep a nice connection with his fingertips here. He's going to be looking at you. You look back at him. He's going to go through his turn. Main thing is to provide your hand where he can easily reach it. Stay connect with his fingertips. Don't just be like, oh, we're not holding on, so I'll move my hand. Just keep your hand connected to his hand throughout the entire turn. We come back together. Our hands are lovely here back in the basic situation. And ladies, uh, an important rule in salsa is that it's always the lead that lets go and never the follow. So if the lead lifts his hand and you decide to just take your hand away, then it sort of leaves him in a difficult All right, now we'll show you some lead right turns um, with a little music. We're going now to uh, teach you a back rock right turn. This is sometimes called a roundy or a hook turn. We'll first show you the footwork facing you, then away from you so that you can pick it up. So it's a simple forward rock, one, two, three. Then the right goes behind the left, five, shift to the six, and all the way around seven, taking three steps, ready to go forward on the rock step. So okay, again. One, two, three, right behind left, and around, and forward. And I'll show it to you from the other direction. So we go forward rock, one, two, three, right behind left, five, six, seven, and forward rock, and all the way around, and step. A couple of tips that's really important on this is of course spotting, which we taught you to do uh, earlier on. And the other thing is, is when your right foot goes behind the left, the farther around that's possible, it will make your turn easier. Also, when you're first learning this turn, it's good to take steps. You're doing right, left, right to step forward. After you learn it, then you can sort of slide your feet around and step forward, and it will work fine for you. Okay, so a little history is important. This is uh, typically a turn just for leads. So uh, follows rarely do a right turn on a back rock. You might do that if you're free and doing your own styling and you maybe want to throw in a little hook turn. That'd be great. Typically, it's just a lead turn. It can be a follow turn, and here's where the history is, comes in. If it is Cuban-style salsa or casino salsa, uh, this, uh, to do a right turn on one for a follow, is really a vacila. It looks like this, and then the follow will turn. 
and walk around. And uh, that's usually set up with a crossbody lead and set up here and then turn and walk around. So we, uh, that's one place where that could take place. So if you're dancing casino, then you will understand that. This is primarily slot style salsa and, um, and that would be really an add on to that. So we're not going to teach that. So let's, uh, let's give you an idea of how this looks in partner form. And it's uh, key to keep this connection and help, and the follows can really help the leads do the turn by having this nice connection. So um, I'll just do a right turn on five, six, seven. One, two, three, with the hand behind the back. One, and five, and one, two, three, hand behind the back. Let's show that from the other direction. And fellows, this is the same kind of arm that we had when the lead was doing a forward rock right turn behind the back. So one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one. One other tip, leads that may be helpful for you. There's a tendency when you take your hand behind the back to lean over and around. I think this is a fairly um, uncomplimentary posture. So try to stay as upright as possible. So you're going one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one. Now, it leads, if you get good at this, and you want to try something that's a little bit more flash, and you have a good follow that can help you out a little bit with this, then you can do a forward right rock right turn, then a back rock right turn, all in the same A count. It looks like this. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Jenny, do you want to talk about how follows can help leads on this? So really we want to make our arm available because they're using our arm A as like a place to ground themselves through the turns. So they're like, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. And B as a stabilizer. So provide a nice solid place for them to turn around to. The other thing leads is if you actually use the follow, and sometimes I even grab the wrist, and as you turn, Always keep a hand on the follow as you're doing this, and you can do many of them without being disoriented or falling down. So Liz, if you know exactly what you're going to do with your hands on her arm, then it's going to eliminate the possibility for butter fingers that can happen, especially when you're not looking at your hands. You might be like trying to find your follow. If you know exactly where to put your hands, it's going to make your turn much smoother. Right turns are the bread and butter of the basic salsa dancer. So it's really important to get a number of possibilities for right turns. We're going to show you uh, a number of forward rock right turns and how to execute them. It's very important to remember that the footwork on all of these is exactly the same. The only thing that's different is how they are led and uh, what hand combinations you're using. So if you're just learning right turns, it's very important to note that there are various hand combinations. So we started with two hand open and taught the right turn that way. But we can do it with simply one hand. So it, let's start with the leads left hand that follows right hand. Now remember, as we rock forward, one, two, three, when we had two hands, we pulled the follow forward on five with the right hand. We only have one hand now. So as we step forward, we're actually going to pull the follow forward with the, with the left hand. Follows, you'll sense the lead prep, negotiate the connection, pull yourself forward in a frame. We're going to turn the hand around then during the uh, pause count. Follows, you will then connect and negotiate that connection with the lead to execute your turn as you're going around. And follows, this feels very similar to the first one. It's just all happening in one hand this time. So let's look at that. One, two, three, pull forward, turn around. Okay, that's with left to right. Let's turn uh, around this way. Now we'll use the leads right hand, left hand for follow, and we'll do that, <coughs> excuse me, do that combination. One, two, three, pull forward, turn the hand around so the palm faces the, the head of the follow, and turn her to the right. It looks like this, one, two, three, 
pull and around and one. This style of leading keeps the follow always in this nice uh, frame and keeps a nice connection. Remember follows to look at the lead uh, to spot on him as you go around. A third way is a shake hand position. This is right to right. Exactly the same technique. One, two, three, pull forward, turn the hand over and around. One, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one. So that gives you four combinations already. Two hands, right to left, left to right, right to right. That's four different turns. And when you're just watching people dancing, it really does look like four different turns rather than four variations of the same turn. Now we'll add additional uh, little style element. When we're in right to right, a really, really great style element. It's very easy, but it also involves some understanding of the lead follow. And that is leads, as you step forward on one, you can put right to right over the follow's head. Now, the important thing for follows, do you want to talk about this, Jenny? Yeah, is that you don't want to mistake it as a turn. So when it's being lifted up, it's coming straight toward your face. So just loosen your arms up and let it float over your head. And leads, you want to make sure when you do this that you're not leading out here and that there's not intention with it. If you do that, follows will turn. And it's very difficult for follows to do a turn on the back rock. So you want no intention of this hand. Therefore, the follow will not feel a lead prep and then negotiate a connection. You want it simply to float over her head. Now another, let's turn around this way, Jenny. Another important thing on this style is when you go the hand over the head, don't just sort of leap away, okay? This is sort of like freaking out with uh, not wanting to dance with somebody. So you're just gonna come here and simply come down her arm in order to make that connection. And follow, don't be afraid to actually put your hand on your head and bring it down the side of your hair. Um, you can kind of play with your hair a little bit as you come down. Um, most things is if you just kind of uh, mime touch your head, it's a little bit bizarre. So if we do a right turn, then this head loop, that, and we'll use different terms for this. Uh, we call it head loop, you can call it hair comb. Uh, a Rueda, a casino style um, a term is alarde, so we may use any of these terms. Right to right, right turn with a head loop. One, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, and five, six, seven. So it's a really nice style element, very simple, very easy. And, and leads, I just have one other little thing on this. It's a very important little tip. One, two, three, five. Turn your hand over. Six, seven. So your hand is here. Then just easy over and it comes down. Beautiful. So those are three easy, four easy turns now. We're going to add a few more. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a style of turn where you're actually letting go and the follower will turn herself. So you're going one, two, three, pull forward, and then just let the follow go. There's, you can just kind of push a little bit as she starts to turn, follows, you then go for it. So Now's a great time to do style on your back rock because you're completely not attached to your dance partner. You have a lot more freedom of what moves you can do. So it looks like this. One, two, three, pull and turn, and one and five. Do you want to talk about styling on the back rock, Jenny? Yeah, there's many different things. In this situation with the hands free, um, you can put your arms up if you feel comfortable doing that. Five, six, seven, and one. Five, six, seven. So after you do something, if you want to put your arms up, if you want them to come down, if you want to go around your head, all of these things are available to you. Just realize they're happening on the back step, five, six, seven, then make your hands available again so that your lead can pick you back up and you can do the next thing. All right, you can also do a one hand version of this, of this same turn. I think it works best in right to right. So you're going one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one. Sometimes if you try this with the left hand, it is simply, when you come up and throw, the follow will simply do this windmill thing around. 
and that is unexpected. It may freak you out. If it's right to right, one, two, three, pull her forward and then turn, throwing it out a little, that will give her the clue that she's supposed to turn. Follows, notice Jenny. She's doing a nice hand style there, coming over her hair as she comes around. And generally follows, if you feel the arm is being pulled here, so you'll step forward. So it's straightened out and then it just released. And you can just let it come up. If, I mean, that's just the natural line. That's why I chose to do that movement. And then if your hand is up here, you can just bring it down the side of your head. And then you're back here at the beginning. So that's just one option. Of course, it's up for interpretation what type of styling you'd like to do. All right, now one other uh, is to do both hands, but have them both go over the follows head. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. All right, now you'll notice when we get through, our hands are in a little bit of a mess here. This will be important later on when we do combinations because there are things you can do with this that are really terrific. Uh, right now, we're just working on right turns, so we'll just let go of one hand, get back to this position. So one, two, three, and forward, both hands over, let go one and five. And in terms of the lead and the connection, it really is the same. It's all happening with two hands this time. So follows and leads. The pull happens on five, then both hands push, and we come around. Follows, the only thing is your hands are up by your head. Just relax your arms and go with it. Okay, now we want to do a simple combo. Actually, I think let's turn around this way and see how it works. This is a right-to-right -right hand combo. Uh, we're going to start one, two, three with a simple right, six, seven, with a head loop, one, two, three, picking up the left hand. As she steps forward, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven. So there is a head loop on one after the turn, on five after the turn, and one. And then, of course, you could do another move after that. Again, follows two things really important. These are not turn leads. And leads, you're going to lead them without intention this way. The other thing that's really important for follows is your hand position. If your hand is hanging down at the side, then the lead has to reach down here to try to find your hand, and that's very difficult. And one thing that will help the follows understand that leads is if you, when you put it over her head, play, hold out your hand, show her your palm like, I want to take your other hand, please. So let's uh, just see that brief two uh, eight count combo. One, two, three, and five, six, seven, and loop, and loop, and loop, and five, six, seven. Okay, that's great. Now we'll do uh, another one. Let's do it from this angle. This time, what we're going to do is uh, the same right turn, right to right, right hand to right hand, shake hand. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. Now leads, this time, you're going to bring the hand over your head on the one. One, two, three. Here you want to hold onto the follow's hand a little bit. With your left hand, you're going to put on the inside of her forearm. Her arm, she's going to step forward five. You're going to push six and seven. And follows, you'll know when you have your right arm pushed on with the lead, that's a, that's a turn. So this is a combination lead turn, follow turn. So let's go through the preps, the negotiation, and the execution on, the, on this combo. So one, two, three, and follow turn, lead underneath and five push six and seven and one now and leads, it, when you put your when you do the alarde on the one it's really important to keep holding on to the follows hand this will help her to step forward on five as we always do then it's a really strong nice toss up the arm on the six to make her turn and then on seven we're back here so so here's the combination one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one. Let's do it from the other angle. Here we go, right to right. One, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one. Follows, feel free to style at the end of that one. 
Now we have a few more moves. Again, right turns are the bread and butter of salsa dancing. So uh, we're going to do uh, a little bit more with both lead and follow. Let's see, I think uh, maybe this is the best angle for this. We're going to start out right to right. And leads, you're going to, that we, we did the turn under your hand. You're only going to go halfway around. One, two, three. Now, you're going to do a little cucaracha to the side, turning the follow five, six, and turn back to your left seven. Fellows, your footwork is still the same, even though you're facing the back of your lead. The, the issue is, follows, you won't have quite as much room because the lead's right in front of you. So here we go. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. I want to show this this way uh, so that you can see, well, maybe this way, so that you can see the cucaracha on the side. Let's just step back just a little bit more. Here we go. And one, two, three. I'm going to step out here. Five, turn six, and seven, and one. So when you do the cucaracha to the side leads, you're here then this just helps you get more space to bring the hand behind and around. And of course, the salsa connection principles all work on all of this. So let's do that one again. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. So it's a nice little turn, both leads and follows at the same time. This is another right to right, uh, right turn combination. We're going to start right here where the lead's going to go one, two, three, putting the follow's hand on his right shoulder. Then on five, six, seven, which is a little back rock for the lead, forward rock for the follow, he's going to just bring his head underneath, five, six, seven. This is an important time to talk about uh, this convention that follows need to know. You want to talk about it? Yes. So follows, any time that your hand is placed somewhere on purpose, you're going to want to leave it there available for the lead. So one, two, three. So we leave our hand here. Then five, six, seven. And when the lead's head goes under, you can kind of raise your arm up a little bit and give him some space. The other thing leads is that you want to be careful when you're here not to like go way down and underneath. It's just bringing your head just barely under her arm you can even pick up her forearm on the back of your head and just let it slip back to this place and then pick up for the next basic. So it goes like this. One, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, and five, six, seven. So that's uh, one more possible combination. Now we'll show uh, one other one, maybe from both directions here. Leads, left hand up. We've did this before. And you're simply going to turn one, two, three. Then you're going to do a cucaracha to the right, holding your hand up here. This is really a lead prep for the follow. So five, get the negotiate the connection, then turn her six and seven. Let's do that again. And one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Let's show that from the other direction so it'll be clear. So leads again, you're picking the hand up, going through, one, two, three, hold the hand here, fingers right here, five, wait for the connection, push her on six and seven. It's a really nice combination. And follows, it's, it might be unusual when your lead steps to the side for the cucaracha because he's there but his hand is up. So if you don't feel any lead indicators, just go ahead and take your step forward as you normally do. All right, so uh, that, uh, that really gives you a lot of different uh, right turn possibilities. So I want to talk a little bit now to the leads because when we first are learning salsa dance, we learn a few leads, a few moves like we just have uh, learned in this video. We go out dancing and we get on the dance floor and suddenly forget everything. One strategy for dealing with that, uh, the very first time you go out dancing, just right after this video, is to say, I know nine or ten different right turns, and I know some style elements, and I know some real cool style elements with the follow, like the head loop. I can simply list those in my mind and go through them one at a time, maybe with a basic move in between each one. So you could go both hands open, uh, both hands over the head, 
leads right follows left, leads left follows right, right to right, right to right with a head loop, uh, half turn, back, back turn, all those. Simply go through them one at a time and uh, then keep a nice connection, smile at your follow, keep nice eye contact, and you'll have a really great time. Do you have some comments, Jenny? Yeah, um, from the follow's perspective, being a follow myself, um, I always prefer to have a lovely dance with somebody who's considerate, who makes a nice connection with me, who leads me carefully through the moves, and who isn't necessarily trying to impress me with some sort of fancy thing that he saw one time or tried one time. Um, I'm much more impressed with a bunch of right turns. I won't even know that they're right turns if I get a smile or if I feel like that the dance is just really fun. I'm just going to enjoy myself and have a much more pleasant experience. So now we'll just put on a little music, show you a few right turns, and uh, that will conclude our uh, video on, uh, actually we're do we did both forward rock right turns, back rock right turns. This is two of uh, the 10 elements that are fundamental to the salsa challenge approach to teaching salsa dancing. <laughs> de mí, ay, ya de cada manera, 